happening this weekend is going to raise money for organizations working to end gun violence. Let's get to Ray Daniel explaining cereal is the main course at this weekend's event, but it's about so much more than breakfast food. Libby Ropey and her neighbor Noel have ordered, well, dozens. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. And dozens of boxes of cereal. Thank you. <laughs> it was a big all out brawl between original Captain Crunch, Crunch Berries, and peanut butter Captain Crunch. Her favorite? Oh, I'm a, I'm a Cinnamon Toast Crunch girl. Whether you're a Cinnamon Toast Crunch or a Kix fan, there will be lots of options to choose from at their event called Cereal for Breakfast. Everyone who comes to the event gets to try a little sample of those things their mom never let them have. The name, Cereal for Breakfast, sounds lighthearted, but also has a deeper meaning, stemming from devastation we've seen across the country. Well, Cereal for Breakfast was born um, just after the Covenant school shooting in Nashville and Uvalde and, and a number of those big headline shootings had, had just left me feeling really hopeless. Some of those last memories that too many parents have with their little ones, getting them out the door, they argued about how their hair looked or what Paw Patrol shirt they were gonna wear. Um, and some of those last memories are having a bowl of cereal with their kiddos. The event will raise funds for organizations working to end gun violence. We're, we're trying to treat that with reverence um, while creating something that is approachable and come up with some nonpartisan solutions to the gun violence endemic that we're enduring. So while the dozens of cereal boxes are stacked and balloons get ready for display, it's these three bowls in Libby's kitchen sink that serve as a reminder of the purpose. I'd walk in the door after dropping off the kids and these three cereal bowls are in the sink right now, but they're usually smattered all over the kitchen um, with milk rings and messes right next to them. Um, it kind of struck me that what if they weren't there? What if I wasn't cleaning up this mess every day? Libby went on to say this is not a political issue and this isn't just a mom issue or a dad issue. This is a community issue to raise awareness and action about limiting the amount of mass shootings happening across the country. So here's information for the event. It's from 9 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. at the Rochester Brewing and Roasting. It's this Sunday and tickets are $50, which gets you access to unlimited bowls of cereal, cups of coffee with access to a top uh, to a cash bar, raffle items, and then conversation for change as well. Proceeds, again, will go towards organizations working to end gun violence. Back to you all. And what a way to go about it and catch people's attention. And she's right. so right. Those three bowls in the I sink. I have three bowls on my sink every morning. And like that, that caught me whenever to hear her describe that. I know exactly what she's talking about. Yeah. That Ray, is this the first time they're doing this? It is. You know, their goal is to do more events and also create a platform where others can start their own cereal for breakfast event where they live. You know, it could be here in Kansas City or elsewhere across the country. So we will have much more information over our, on our website at KSHB.com. Thanks, Ray. Powerful message, Ray. Thank you.